Roblox Train Games. Yes, you heard me. Today we'll be talking about Roblox Train Games, but there's a twist. We're not going to be discussing current Roblox Train Games. No, no, no. We're going to be discussing dead Roblox Train Games. You know, train games that were once super popular and well-known, but died due to either the devs moving on, sequel killing it off, Roblox completely killing it, or just the public losing interest in it. And, well, yeah, today I'm going to be explaining what happened to the game, how it started, how it died, and where it is now. I will only be really doing stuff that I personally have actually played, so you won't see anything like Cool Beans Railway or... And I, you basically won't be seeing any, like, of the really, really big, dead old Roblox games. You'll mostly be seeing ones that were, like, they were still big, but, like, they were big at the time. Anyway, that's enough blabbing on. Let's get on with the list. We'll start off our trip with a very well-known old Roblox train game, and that is Narrow Gauge Hills 1. The prequel to a very well-known Narrow Gauge Hills 2, Narrow Gauge Hills 1 began production in 2013 to wild success. The game had a really good run until it began to fall off and slowly but surely most of the forefoot lines were closed. The game is pretty much killed off once Narrow Gauge 2 was released. With the two foot lines being the main lines left running as now. The game is mostly dead, while the four foot engines run fine, a good majority of the two foot engines are broken due to Roblox physics updates, which hit a lot of the old train games, making them virtually unplayable. However, Narrow Gauge 1 is planned to be restored, so it may not be dead for long. Yet another well known train game which sadly met its end due to its sequel. Tailand Railway 1 was originally made in 2019, which is a lot newer than a lot of the games on this list. First being made in 2019, TLR1 wasn't super well known, only hitting about 80,000 visits, which, while impressive, isn't close to the levels the sequels had. The game fell off after the release of Tailand 2, and so far it has remained mostly dead with no sign of ever coming back. Fun fact, when I first played the game, I thought it was older than it actually was, with me legit learning the game was in 2019 while writing the script, so yeah, that's a fun fact for you. Staying on the topic of the Tailand series, we move on to its much more successful sequel, Tailand Railway 2. Tailand Railway 2 started development around early 2020 and pretty much improved in Tailand 1 in both style, detail, and functionality. The game was released on the 13th of June 2020 and it was a much bigger success than the original, hitting 340,000 visits. The game was pretty well received, however, TLR died due to an update, more specifically, Tailand 2.1, which was released in September of 2021. TLR 2.1 was originally going to be a massive update to Tail and Railway 2, but the developers decided to make it a completely new game, which is probably the best. Sadly killed off TLR2, which everyone moved over to 2.1, and as of now, TLR2 is a dead but surprisingly functional game. Almost everything will work fine, which is a rarity on this list. Except of course for the music, but like, most games with music that are old don't work anymore, so that's a... Yeah, that's a, that's a sad fact. I really hate the Roblox audio update. For our first proper narrow gauge game, we have Surrey Mountain Narrow Gauge Railway, a two foot narrow gauge game which runs in the hills of the United Kingdom with several pieces of tally clip rolling stock. The game was made in 2020 and did pretty well for itself, but unfortunately the game died off due to players not being interested in it anymore, which I understand it was kind of just a long stretch of track and it kind of wasn't that interesting. And since then the game hasn't really gotten many updates. Next on our list is 4.8 Railway, released back in April of 2018. This game was originally made as a testing ground for Denver and his friends to test 4.8 gauge locomotives in, which was a new type of locomotive system in Roblox. The game eventually became big enough that it decided to make a full game. While it originally released, it was very functional. The Roblox updates kind of just killed it off in the end, and it really has not been touched since. Surprisingly enough, a few of the locomotives still actually do work. Uh, well, work in a sense of they move and they don't explode. 
However, most of the locomotives do sadly not work anymore due to the fact that they're just so old and Denver and his friends haven't bothered to update it. Overall, this game is an interesting look back at the past of Roblox trains before they changed to be more detailed slash low polyed. Before we go to our number one pick, I'd like to bring up a few honorable mentions which either didn't have enough information for a flow blown section of this video or are unfortunately shut down. Before we had Narrow Gauge Hills 2.5, we had Narrow Gauge Hills 2, the precursor to 2.5. It was originally made back in 2016-15, but was sadly killed off due to a Roblox update. It was ultimately replaced with Narrow Gauge 2.5, which is pretty sad that the original doesn't exist, but what can you do, I guess? Hand and Far was a two-stun narrow gauge Roblox game made by Reaper27 back in 2021. This odd two-foot game was a small industrial line that goes through some forests and into a town. It was closed due to poor performance on the engines and and probably won't reopen. I only have access to it because I'm friends with Reapers, so that's how I was able to get this footage. So um Yeah, also this was suggested by Reaper, so uh, I hope you enjoy Reaper. Last up on our list is the most famous dead train game. That game is Work in Progress Railway by Edison2020216. Originally coming out in March of 2017, this game was one of the better free drive games at the time with a large variety of United Kingdom rolling stock and some United States slash Japanese slash Chinese stock thrown in there. The game was extremely big and was very functional railway at the time. The game would get several updates over the year, but sadly would die off during the great Roblox physics update of 2018, when almost all the steam locomotives broke. And like a lot of the games at the time, the engines were never repaired, with the game owner stating that the steam engines would be taken out of service like they did in real life. But unfortunately, this would never come to be, as the game was last updated in 2019, and since then has remained completely dead since. Edison 2002-0216 has since moved on to road scale and completely left the game behind. Surprisingly, a good majority of the stock is still functional, albeit Life 4.8 Railway isn't the best. Most of the diesels do still run, with a few exceptions. The game is very detailed, as in there is a lot of care put into the cities and town on the line. For a long time, the game was thought to be forgotten about, but on May 20th, a tweet by Jordan DT said that the game would be fixed completely and re-uploaded under a different user. The reason for this was due to Edison not knowing how to fix the trains, and so the future of Work in Progress Railway is looking bright, and hopefully soon we will see it finally return fully functional. Well, that's just a tiny portion of Dead Roblox Train Games. There are so many of these that I could have covered, but if you guys want to see a part 2, tell me in the comments below and I'll consider it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.